you are worldwide there is one thing that is certain if you want to achieve absolutely epic cinematic shots be able to frame them just the way that you want and of course in the interest of safety there is one key element full and reliable signal between the controller and your drone and when it comes to this the dji mini 3 pro i can tell you that opinion is absolutely divided with some people saying that the connection quality on this is absolutely perfect and with those that say it is absolutely not up to scratch so on this video i've set up to try and establish exactly what is going on whether there is an inherent fault with the drone whether it's user error or just down to environmental circumstances and before i reveal exactly what i've found and explain the one thing i have noticed that may be causing this huge divide and of course difference in actual results worldwide with all sorts of different operators and before i reveal um, and show you exactly what you need to be looking out for to see whether your drone is doing what I have found We need to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane and go back to basics Now when I started my channel when there is a much less drone police around and before visual line of sight was so much of a contentious issue I used to do a lot of range testing with the DJI Mavic Mini and for those that own that drone You would know that the range especially in a city country. It was absolutely shocking but using range extenders and plenty out with channels and frequencies i managed to get this original og uh, drone to a grand distance of 5000 meters okay so i certainly know a thing or two about extending range on a dji drone which is really what makes me best place to be able to establish and look into and investigate exactly what could be going on with the mini 3 pro so we need to talk a little bit about the whole technology then if we show the transmission tab on the dji drone you will see we have got two sets of frequencies 2.4 and 5.8 now the theory goes that 2.4 gigahertz is designed for longer range in less interference areas and 5.8 will give you a stronger signal in high interference areas but of course it won't go as far basically meaning that 2.4 is ideal for rural uh, environments whereas 5.8 is ideal for a city now on a drone such as the dji mavic mini uh, where as i've just explained regarding the 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz frequencies when i was doing my rural range test i would simply click on a manual 2.4 gigahertz channel and then what that would do is that would ensure that I had a strong connection all I needed to do was pick the lowest green bar and once I took off that was completely and utterly locked in now when DJI launched the Mini 2 with its Ocusync 2.0 connection it completely changed things up the drone now had the ability to dynamically change its frequency and channel in flight to ensure it always had the strongest connection possible this was so much more user friendly than of course the old mavic mini which locked in as soon as we took it off and of course and with a stronger connection and higher output the dji mini 2 really did completely change the game now fast forward to modern day and of course we're talking about the dji mini 3 pro now there was a massive suggestion that the dji rc n1 controller give a better range than the new dji rc now this is something i tested out on my channel and when i did my test anyway i found no difference between the two but one feature of that test i did do which some of you would disagreed with was the fact that i selected a manual 5.8 gigahertz frequency and that was based on all of my experience but some of you said that that was wrong and i should have chosen 2.4 because of course 2.4 gives the longer range and you are absolutely right but not in this area with which i did my test so allow me to demonstrate exactly why that is the case so on the first flight, I actually used the DJI RC and I fixed this controller on a 2.4 gigahertz frequency. As you can see, only 150 meters out, we are already dropping a bar. 
if we fast forward that on a little bit flying over this high interference uh, urban area you can see it doesn't take too long before we get in orange bars now obviously that's because as I've already explained 2.4 gigahertz is not ideal for this area however if we land the drone take back off again and you can see I've now selected a manual 5.8 you will see if we perform the exact same flight looking at the map down in the bottom corner we're following the exact same path okay the same altitude we have got no such problems we keep a full and strong connection the entire way much surpassing the uh, signal we got on the 2.4 gigahertz flight so now we've seen that 5.8 is the way to go on this drone in this environment what i want to do is show you exactly what i found and what i noticed as to why some people might be getting poor signal when using this controller specifically now when i did this test you can see for some bizarre reason comparing the two that this controller picked a 2.4 gigahertz frequency to start with whereas the dji rcn1 picked 5.8 now, obviously, as I've just mentioned, 5.8, as proven, is the way to go in this area. Now, I found it strange that given that situation, why this decided to set off in 2.4. And don't get me wrong, I do appreciate that the whole point of OcuSync is that it can dynamically switch in flight. However, obviously, if we replay that flight again, you can see it actually doesn't switch to 5.8. It stays in 2.4. That could actually explain why some people are getting slightly better range with the DJI RCN one it could be that that controller and drone combination is actually correctly picking the frequency that you should be flying on whereas for some reason i don't know whether it's algorithm related or anything to do with this controller and this drone combination but it could well be that this controller is picking the wrong connection for your flying environment and of course this works both ways as well so it could well be that this controller is putting you on a 2.4 frequency in a built-up area which of course wouldn't be as good but in a rural area it could be running on 5.8 when it should be on 2.4 all of these things will actually affect your signal so what i would suggest is next time you are out and about and you are flying you're possibly getting poorer connection from this combination here flick into the settings and the transmission tab and just see and make sure that you are running on the right frequency for the environment with which you are flying in this is possibly something dji can fix in a firmware update but certainly something that i've observed which of course will answer pretty much most of the queries and the discrepancies as to why some people have got range problems and some people haven't so that wraps up this video thank you very much for watching if you did find it useful give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're awesome i've done a whole playlist on the dji mini 3 pro so i'll leave a link on that side of my head for you to check out all of those videos until next time see you again soon